Rainbows are one of the most breathtaking outcomes of simple geometric wave optics. Consider, white sunlight enters a raindrop, gets bent and dispersed, or broken up into colors, because of Snell's law, reflects off the back of the drop, then gets bent again as it leaves the drop, going through a roughly 138 degree change in its direction. When you face away from the sun, you wind up seeing a circular band of light 42 degrees away from the antisolar point, the colors splayed out because of their own individual refractive properties. In other words, a rainbow. We only see rainbows where we can see the drops suspended in air, so they usually appear to end at or very near the ground. But if you can get up high enough and see drops below you and the sun above, you can see far more of the rainbow. If the conditions are right, you can see it as a full circle, like these astonished people did when looking at Niagara Falls from the Skylon Tower Revolving Restaurant located 240 meters above the falls. Very cool. If I were there, I'd be laughing in delight too, and then explaining how all this works to anyone who would listen. I also got a note from here in Kikaria, who recorded a circular rainbow while in an ultralight craft flying over Oahu. Wow, I've got to try that someday. We get a lot of rainbows in my home state of Colorado. Afternoon rain showers are common in the spring and summer, which can abruptly end. The clouds blow east and the setting sun shines from the west, creating magnificent bows in the east. We also get lots of double rainbows, technically secondary rainbows. Here's one I photographed in May 2015 after a brief but heavy rain. You can see supernumerary arcs inside the bow too. Delving into the physics of rainbows is fascinating. There's such amazing displays wrought from such straightforward scientific laws. To paraphrase Carl Sagan, it does no harm to the romance of the rainbow to know a little bit about it. In fact, knowing why it happens makes it that much more magnificent. We can't deal with foreign terrorism until we deal with the moral terrorism. And this is a dagger blow at the heart of the family. Anybody who would